good morning. We have three locks to do this morning and then five locks from bottom lock to get to Fenny Compton. So, <laughs> so there's no dilly dallying today. We have to put the center lines on, put the tiller on. Um, we are really close to the lock. I'll show you what that looks like. There we are. And hopefully we are leading the procession, which I don't really care about, but you know, some people like to, if they're going, it's not really a flight, but if they're going up a series of locks, they like to be at the front instead of following another boat. I don't really care, but um, we happen to be at the front, so we're going to maintain our lead. I think there's a boat coming down. Okay, I'll do my checks anyway. Yeah, engine checks. Yeah. It's tight. Okay. Do your Jasmine wobble test. I can't remember what wobble stands for. I know for. me either, I just remember the word. We get a lot of comments about engine maintenance. And one thing that I wanted to share with you is that we do actually check the engine every day before we go off on a, on a journey. We just don't film it every time because otherwise every vlog would be the same. <laughs> Maybe we should start every vlog the same. Check the water. Oh, that's probably what the W stands for. Oil. Oh. Belts. Ah, belts. So I've checked the water level, the oil level, the tension on the two belts. I have checked to make sure that the engine mounts look like they're fine, and of course they are. I'm also doing a quick check because obviously we had a fuel leak and the reason that I knew about the fuel leak was because of my engine checks <laughs> and visually seeing the fuel on top of the engine. And I'm just checking now and I don't see any fuel. Good. We have run the engine for a few hours since we've been moored up here for power reasons. To clarify another comment that we had, we don't ever really aim for 100% battery capacity because it takes ages to achieve that last 20%. We often wake up at 65% and our goal is to get to around 80%, which is the quick charge section of the batteries. We can live off that 20% of battery. So that, that's all that we need. And we do need to get new solar panels to maybe, maybe then we'll achieve 100%. But as it is, everything's fine. The reason that we're using the engine for power is because we don't have a generator or adequate capacity solar. And the reason for that is because we can't afford to buy them right now. <laughs> so whilst your comments are really helpful, it's also really frustrating for us because we don't have the money to spend. We'd love to, but we don't. Yeah, it's not that we have the money and we're just idiots. Yeah. All right, so Kath just needs to put some water in there and pass me a windlass. There's a boat coming down in the lock. Couldn't you just go in and get some water? <laughs> and um, I can't get in because you've got the... Oh, I love this. Nah. I've got to go get some water and my own windlass and there's a boat coming down in the lock and no boat approaching, so we're not stealing their lock, which would be rude. And, um, and then we're going to set off. I'm so sorry, Alice. I'm so sorry, Alice. I'm so sorry, yes, on, and, and do our cat checks. My apologies. Where's your brother? Alice, I'm sorry. Honey, we forgot the cats. No, we hadn't. We haven't started the engine yet. Munchie is now officially the worst cat, and Alice is the best cat if you were keeping score at home. We haven't claimed the lock, and the lovely ladies at the lock offered to leave the gates open but we won't be using the lock until Munchie comes back. I like, genuinely forgot the cats were out this morning. We, If we're gonna leave early we do let them out usually for an hour or so and they usually their time frame is fine but Munchie has taken to going further and further each time and I think he's out on his morning jaunt
I hear you've turned the engine off. There's no point in running it if we can't go. Yeah. We're gonna do enough cruising to do our charging. Yeah. So I put the kettle on. Yeah, go on. Um, go and sit with Alice as well. She's a bit stressed. What I found. Where was that? Up at the lock. <gasps> I went there. Far up in the trees. In a tree? No, in the amongst the trees. We put the face on it. It's so cross. We just got brought back. He said, "Hi." Oh. What do you mean we're going to walk over a lock? The last lock was awesome. There was a guy there, I didn't get his name, but this message is for Mike and Jill because the guy at the last lock, he was renting an apartment and sold his, well, stopped renting his apartment, bought a boat, retired seven years early, seven. Not and, two. Not two seven. years, seven, and he's having a great time. And he's in his boat and he's single-handed and this is his backyard, Mike. We do actually meet a lot of people who are a couple of years away from retiring and I fully support you doing what you need to do. I also fully support retiring early, obviously. <laughs> when you say how can I be a better wife <laughs> <laughs> and Kath said make more tea make more teas and so I do and they end up in the canal yeah but the reason that she does them so badly is so that I'll let her off making more teas I'm not an idiot <laughs> <laughs> anyway so we are still on the Oxford Canal as you may have gathered we, <laughs> we were moored up at the bottom of Elkington. some locks there were three locks in a row and that's where we had the crop issues and because of the rain and the wind we decided to stay there for a few days so we sat at the weekend and the rain has stopped and the wind has dropped and so have, we have moved so we are heading towards the Claydon locks now we've been here before and last time we got here we were just stopping for lunch we ended up having a nice chat on the towpath with what they call uh, floating, your, floating boat. your boat, Rich and Fran, which was lovely. And then after we were so exhausted after speaking to them, we didn't <laughs> bother carrying on up the locks. <laughs> Rich was like, Rich was like, all right, we've got to go, and we were like, yeah, us too, but we didn't. <laughs> um, and then we, a couple of days later, we reversed down the canal. Well, you did. And, and Kat's really sad that I never showed that excellent footage. But I'm really excited to continue on with our journey and see where the canal takes us. Are you going to say anything? I'm not allowed to say what the news is, but we have my favourite thing, a daily vlog coming up on yep. Friday. So if you're not subscribed, you need to click the subscribe button and also you need to click the bell so that it'll ping up on your phone when we release on Friday because we're going to do a daily vlog on Friday and it is a super exciting daily vlog. Yes. So that's my exciting news, daily vlog. I love them. So the daily vlog series is just a little mini series. It's going to be called 1979 and the reason for that is because we are going to recreate one of my family's narrowboat holidays from, you guessed it, 1979. So I won't give any more away. You'll have to tune in and watch this vlog There's series. There's specific reasons why we are calling it 1979, but there are also specific reasons why we are heading to Fenny Compton and why we're doing the daily vlog and why it's so exciting. But you will find that out on Friday. Yeah.
Forget about this place, but I don't wanna leave here if you're just gonna stay. So we're just in the second of the Claydon locks going up. Anna's working hard. I'm doing nothing as usual and it's going really well. We timed it perfectly so that we were able to just drive in to the bottom one and to the next one up. Although there was nearly a reenactment of the um, lock filling. I had to honk the horn and then the lady stopped filling the lock and came and opened the gate to let us in which was hilarious because somebody had just come out telling us how lovely the lady was and how she would definitely let us in. Also, you may notice that the engine is quite a lot quieter now than it has been, which is great for me. If you haven't already checked out our Through the Hedge video from earlier on in this week, it's really worth a watch. It's really interesting to have because we had a tour around Thule's boatyard. So another big thanks to Matt because, as I said, the engine is running perfectly. single one of the eight locks today which never happens I'm just gonna do the sneaky sign off thanks for watching today's episode we hope you've enjoyed it if you have enjoyed it don't forget to give us a like and do subscribe so that you get notified when Friday's daily vlog goes live thanks for watching Thanks, bye. You got in there at the end. Why did you try to sign off without me?